Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick video to show you how to take a beat project in Vue.js and um, build a mobile app with it. So let's get started. Um, if you don't follow, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. There's a bunch of great content that I create on here around mobile app and web development in general. So let me shrink my head and get going. So first thing we're going to do is just create a normal uh, project in Vite. Here's a command. And looks like my project is scaffolded. And then now let's move into the directory, cd, Vite. And then my editor is Visual Studio Code. And let's kind of blow this up a bit. Get all this stuff out of the way. Now, there are ways that you can manually go around and try to modify your package JSON and add all everything using V from a uh, add capacitor using a command line, but um, I strongly recommend using this Ionic Visual Studio Code plugin. You can find it here, extensions, Ionic. This, this, this will allow you to take your regular Vite project and just turn it into a, a capacitor project. And so that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Um, we'll get live reload and everything working with a, a few modifications, but I honestly believe this is the best approach. All right, so let's get back here. And so you just go down here to your Ionic and you say add capacitor integration. Add capacitor. Let this thing run. I probably should have just shown the application running by itself. Actually, I didn't do npm install. So let me do npm install after this finishes up. Oh, so it's added capacitor. Let me go back to my terminal. I don't even think I created a terminal window yet. So let me go to my terminal and do my npm install. All right, so now it's added everything. And let's take a look at some of the changes that were made. You can see it's added some basic plugins and then it we go over here and we look inside a package JSON, it added some Ionic commands. So I will tell you right now to get, um, excuse me, to get, uh, blah, 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 to get live reload working, we're gonna have to make some changes here. And one of the changes you make here is beat dev host. Okay, and that's going to help us to get live reload working. And then the other change you need to make is inside your capacitor config. And in here, oh no, it's got it set right. It's got the, um, the web directory where the output from the build will be set to dist. And I believe that that is correct. We'll check on the end afterwards and see if it's not. And so I think that should be it. So let's first let's run the V project as you normally would. Um, to verify that the website's working correctly. So if we see here, we're just going to do npm run dev. And I have my basic feed project running. So let's get this and put this over here on the side. And so here's my project running. But what we want to do is we want to run this thing on a mobile device. So we've Let's click back on our Ionic plugin. We've already added capacitor, but let's add, right now it says you can only run in web, but let's add iOS. So we just go down here, we say add iOS to project, add iOS. Let's look at the output. Oh, it's missing the disk directory. So that means I haven't built it yet. So what we can do is we can go up here and you see where it says build, just click build. So it's created the uh, 
the build, uh, sorry, the dish directory that's needed. And now we'll go back down and we'll say, well, it looks like it went ahead and added it, even though it did indicate there was an error. So iOS has been added. And let's see if we can get this thing to run. So we just click on iOS. It asks us to pick a simulator. Here's my simulator that I picked. It's building the web assets. It's added the capacitor plugins. It's updating native dependencies. Now it's going to try to build it and deploy to my simulator, which should jump up here in a minute. It's running Xcode. And here's my application running in a capacitor container on a mobile device. And the last thing is we want to be able to work efficiently. And one way to work efficiently is with live reload. So we can, let's stop this and go down here inside of settings and click live reload. Close our settings and then launch iOS again. Pick my simulator. And then we should see my app reload here. My app is now reloading and I have live reload and we can confirm that by going into my, uh, uh, is this my, no, where's my main, my app view. And uh, let's change where's my byte plus uh, message byte plus view plus ionic save. And there you can see it automatically updated without the whole build. You can see our website got updated too. And I think this is the fastest, most efficient way to get a capacitor to get, get your Vite project in view or React or anything else that Vite can crank out. Um, set up as a mobile device uh, with ionic capacitor. Uh, one of the points that I want to make clear is that people very often connect ionic framework, i.e. the components that they give you with ionic capacitor. I wanted to do this separately to show you that you don't have to use ionic framework to get a mobile attic, uh, to get a mobile application out of ionic capacitor. Um, if you found this helpful, or have any recommendations for other videos, please drop a message below and I will see you next time. Thanks and bye.